The people of the ancient Greek city of Ephesus were proud of their metropolis along the Mediterranean. They were also proud of their patron goddess Artemis. Artemis was the goddess of fertility, and the Ephesians built a series of temples to her, each one more impressive than the one before. When in the 7th century BC a flood destroyed the current temple, it was replaced with one more grand. The new structure was built using marble. A new statue of the goddess was sculpted to grace the interior, and outside, 36 of the building's columns were meticulously carved with figures in relief. Unfortunately, a young man decided to make himself famous by the temple's destruction. Erostatus carried a torch to the building one night, climbed up into its wooden roof, and set the beams on fire. The temple burned. The very night of the fire, July 21, 356 BC, was also the evening the great Greek conqueror Alexander the Great was born. As time went by, a legend appeared, saying that the reason the guys didn't come to save her temple was not because she wasn't concerned about it, but because she was otherwise occupied making sure of Alexander's safe arrival into this world. The next morning, the citizens of Ephesus stood before the smoldering ruins. Instead of being ashamed of his act, Herostasus proclaimed what he had done, wishing to become famous as the man that had destroyed the great temple. He was tried, executed, and the Ephesians passed a law that anyone that even mentioned his name would be put to death. The law failed to blot out the arsonist's name from history. However, the Ephesians did do something that caused this terrible act to fade from memory. They cleared the site and rebuilt the shrine, making it even larger and more magnificent than the temple that had been destroyed. Today, we know it is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world.